Hello everybody, welcome to normality testing using the movie software. I'm going to show you how to generate skewness, kurtosis, and Shapiro wheel statistics and how to interpret them. I have weight and length data here for a sample of babies at birth and we want to check normality for this data. It is important to note that skewness, kurtosis, and Shapiro wheel statistics are part of descriptive measures. And so we are going to generate descriptive statistics. So I go to analysis, exploration, descriptives, and I select the two variables and bring to the variables box. I go to statistics, and today I don't need these other statistics, so I uncheck them. I only need skewness, kurtosis, and Shapiro wheel. And we have the descriptive table here with values for skewness, kurtosis, Shapiro wheel statistic, and Shapiro wheel P or significance. Now let's begin with skewness. We know that skewness is a measure of lack of symmetry and uh, a standard normal distribution has a skewness value of zero. The general rule is that if the skewness value lies between negative 0.5 to positive 0.5, then the data have a symmetric distribution. If it is less than negative 0.5, then the data have a negatively skewed distribution or left skewed distribution. If it is greater than 0.5, then the data have a positively skewed distribution or right skewed distribution. Now for weight data, skewness value is 0 0.1 to 1, which lies between negative 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 and so the weight data have symmetric distribution. For length data skewness value is 1.16 which is greater than 0 0.5 and so the length data have a positively skewed distribution or right skewed distribution. Let's move to kurtosis. We know that kurtosis is a measure of whether the distribution is picket or flat relative to a normal distribution and uh, kurtosis is normally based on the size of uh, a distribution states. A positive kurtosis indicates that there are too few observations in the tail of the distribution and uh, a negative kurtosis indicates that there are too many observations in the tail of the distribution. Now a standard normal distribution has kurtosis value of 3. Uh, a kurtosis value less than 3 indicates that the distribution is too flat relative to a normal distribution. And a kurtosis value greater than 3 indicates that the distribution is too picked relative to a normal distribution. Now, uh, the kurtosis value for weight is 0 0.265 and for length is 1.18. Uh, for the two variables, the kurtosis value are less than uh, 3. So it means that both weight and length data have a distribution that is too flat relative to a normal distribution. And uh, again, uh, kurtosis values are positive for the two variables. Uh, weight and length and so it means that uh, there are too few observations in the tail of the distributions. Okay, let's move to Shapiro-Wilk. So the Shapiro-Wilk statistic for uh, weight data is 0 0.975 and the significance or p-value is 0 0.793. Remember in Shapiro-Wilk test the null hypothesis is that the distribution is normal and the alternative hypothesis is that the distribution is not normal. Now for weight data, uh, the, the p-value is 0 0.793 which is greater than a significance level of 0 0.05. Assume we are using a significance level of 0 0.05 here. So for weight data, uh, because 0 0.793 is greater than 0 0.05, uh, Shapiro-Wilk test results are not significant for 
the weight data. And so it means we cannot reject the null hypothesis. This implies that uh, the weight data have a symmetric distribution. For the length data, shapiro wheel statistic is 0 0.905 and the p-value is 0 0.027. Now this p-value of 0 0.027 is less than 0 0.05. And so shapiro wheel test results for the, uh, the length data uh, is, is statistically significant. So we can reject the null hypothesis. This implies that the length data do not have a normal distribution. Okay, next I'm going to generate some graphs here so that we visualize the distribution of data for the two variables. So I'll go to plots and I will begin with the histogram. And uh, the histogram for the two variables are here. Uh, let's begin with weight data. So for weight data, uh, most values are clustered at the center of the distribution. So the weight data have uh, a normal distribution. Or uh, the distribution of weight data is symmetric. For length data, you can see most uh, data values cluster to the left of the distribution. And so the length data have a right skewed distribution or positively skewed distribution. I'm going to generate QQ plot again. And uh, the QQ plots are here. Let's begin with QQ plot for weight. We can see the plotted points cluster along the 45 uh, degree reference line. And so this means that uh, the weight data have a normal distribution. Uh, for length data, the QQ plot is here. You can see the plotted points do not cluster along uh, the straight line. And so the weight data do not have uh, a normal distribution. So uh, the graphs here agree with uh, the descriptive statistics we have already interpreted up here. Uh, we said that for, uh, for weight data, uh, the distribution is symmetric. You can see it is shown in the histogram and also shown in uh, the QQ plot. Uh, for length data, we said the distribution is right skewed or positively skewed and we can see that in the histogram uh, the histogram is right skewed or positively skewed you can also see that in the qp plot the plotted points do not uh, lie on the straight line so uh, we can also use uh, the graphs to visualize the distribution of the data or to check normality and specifically uh, histogram and QQ plots. You can also use the box plot. So uh, that's how you generate uh, skewness, statosis, and Shapiro Wilk statistics. And uh, that's how you interpret the results. Next, let's meet next time.